Good morning, nights, and thank you for joining us for Nightline News. We're coming to you live from Academy Park World News Headquarters. I'm Manatee. And I'm Khadija. We're happy to be coming to you on this Thursday, March 10th. Today's the day, too. <laughs> and now let's go over to Javier to see what we can expect with the weather for today. Thank you, Manatee. Today, there will be a high of 50 degrees with a low of 42. You can expect considerable cloudiness with occasional rain showers. And now, Manatee and Khadija, what are some of the things happening here at AP that students should know about? Thanks for asking, Javier. Happy Women's History Month, everybody. Here's your news for today. Study release students. All study release students for first and second block should please remember to sign in to the attendance office. If you do not sign the sign-in sheet, you will be marked absent for the day. The following expectations, which are found in the student handbook, will continue to be strictly enforced. No personal backpacks, only clear backpacks. No wearing hoods, ski masks, hats, or sunglasses. And finally, students must have a signed hall pass if in the halls and not to be seen out of area. In addition, remember, students to also wear your, your school-issued scholarship ID at all times when you're on the school campus. Failure to wear your student identification may result in a disciplinary consequence. Help Academy Park be safe for everyone to attend and wear your student identification. Apprenticeship, oh, apprenticeship Fair. Senator Tim Kearney and Senator John Kane are, partner, are partnering with the Delaware County Intermediate Unit to present the Career, Trade, and Labor Apprenticeship Fair. This event will take place on March 19th from 9 a.m. to 12 noon at the DCIU Education Center in Morrison. This event is for students grades 8 through 12. And now, here are Delano and Alex with your horoscopes for today, Thursday. Thank you, Khadija. If you are Aries, avoid trusting someone you just met. Be careful sharing personal information with others today. Taurus, make changes that will improve your appearance and confidence. Also, be careful of money today. Gemini, pay attention to details today so you don't miss something important. Cancer, concentrate on eating healthy breakfast for this week. Leo, spend, spend today catching up on responsibilities that need to be taken care of, like the homework you've been ignoring. Virgo, you will be viewed as sensitive, compassionate individual by everyone from now on. Pay close attention to the way you pre present yourself to others this week. First impressions matter. Scorpio, find a new and creative ways to spend your time today. Maybe a little artistic expression. Uh, Sagittarius, get involved in or start interesting conversations today. There will be a lot happening in the world that's worth exploring. Capricorn, try going without your phone for the rest of the day and see how it makes you feel. It'll be fantastic. You can do it. Aquarius, avoid students who appear to be keeping you from your responsibilities today. Focus on getting work done. Pisces, Try selecting a book to read and enjoy this week. It can expand your way to understand the world around you. And now, let's go back to Khadija and Menesty. With the notes. Thank you, Delano. Junior prom. Junior prom ticket sales would be from March 18th at room 321 or room 322. Tickets are $65 each. Prize with more information are hanging in the halls, or you can see Ms. Smith or Ms. Davini with any questions. Class of 2024 and 25, Frost will be tomorrow, Friday, March 11th, from 6 to 9 p.m. here at the AP Gymnasium. You can purchase tickets to Frost for $10 from now until ticket sales end today. <laughs> to purchase tickets, go to room 344, 350, 241, or the library before or after school. Payment must be in cash. You may also bring a current AP student as a date. A reminder, food is not to be ordered or delivered to the school. Consistent with the student handbook, students are not allowed to have food ordered and or delivered to the school. Failure to follow the school rule may result in a dis disciplinary act consequence, and you, will, and you will not be reimbursed for the cost of your order that will be denied at delivery. Class of 2022, please check Google Classroom for important class announcements. Seniors, see Ms. Kaluza or Ms. Kearney if you are interested in having a memory page put into the school yearbook. And now in honor of Women's History Month, here are your historical highlights for today. Thank, thank you, Khadija. Today, March 10th, is the birthday of playwright and politician Claire Booth Luce. In 1936, Luce wrote The Woman, a scathing portrayal of rich society woman. 
Luce was a member of Congress from 1942 to 1946, where she criticized international aid and opposed communism. She also served as an ambassador for Italy from 1953 to 1956, the highest diplomatic post held by a woman. That is all for this day in women's history. We hope you can take the opportunity this month to look back and celebrate the contributions women had throughout history. From everyone here at Nightline News, I'm Alex. And I'm Javier, and he's Delano, your favorite. <laughs> I'm Khadija. And I'm Manatee. Remember, if you have anything fascinating and newsworthy to share, please email your prepared announcement to Dr. Russ. And keep those electrons out of sight, those hoods and hats off, and those student ID IDs visible. And remember, Alice Walker once said, the most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. Thank you, Knights, for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Happy Women's History Month.